it's King Tets Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you the super cool cyberpunk color grade effect, and it's actually really easy to do. You do actually do need the LUT pack, which I will leave down in the description of this video. That brings us to today's sponsor, Epidemic Sound, a personal go-to for finding music. And if you've never heard of them before, they are a Swedish-based music company that provides creators like me and you access to licensed music to be able to monetize our content. Online video creators don't need to worry about receiving copyright strikes or worry about takedown. Whether you need music or sound effects for your projects, they have a huge and always growing library of 35,000 tracks and 90,000 sound effects. I like that the tracks are professionally produced by a diverse collection of artists and that they are exclusive to Epidemic Sound. I'm on the personal plan, which is ideal for content creators who want to use copyright and strike-free licensed music on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and podcasts. Or if you're a freelancer, a business, or an agency, then the commercial plan is just for you. You're allowed to monetize without the headache of receiving strikes, being demonetized, or being flagged for using unlicensed music. If you sign up with the link in the description, you'll get a 30-day free trial for the personal or commercial plan. Don't miss out on the diverse music catalog of Epidemic Sound. Now let's get back to the video. So what you want to do is select the clip and go over to the effects, and then you're going to go down to the color tab. So I'm going to go down to color, and then under the color tab, we're going to go over to the custom LUT effect. Click and drag that onto your clip, and then you're going to go over to the video inspector tab, and then you're going to go down to the custom some LUT and then next to the LUT here you're going to click on the the selection window here and then you can select all of the LUTs here this is from my actual pack from the website but if you don't have any you can easily just go over to the color tab here create a new color correction and then adjust the colors here but this is a little bit more involved you know compared to the LUTs where you can just click and choose it's pretty much pre-made filters for your videos these LUTs allow you to really change up the mood and theme and overall color of your clip. So I'm gonna go with the Bain Rouge LUT here. And I think this is like two or I think three LUT packs combined into one. But if you guys do decide on purchasing the LUT pack, what we're gonna do is you're gonna go to the choose custom LUT and this will bring up a new window. And then you just go to wherever you save your zip file. It should be a folder. And then you just select the folder and click open. And this will select all of the LUTs and import them here in alphabetical order. I'm going to just leave it on the default rec 709. I think that works fine. So here's a before, push play to look like this. And then here's a after, which completely changes the look of the video really. And it makes it look a lot better in my opinion. So once we're here, what we're going to do is we're going to make a copy. So hold option, click and drag and move this upwards. This will make a copy and just duplicate the same clip right above. Then we're going to go over to the effects here and go down to the king and then go over to luma here and just add that onto that and then you can adjust the luma here if you need just by dragging the sliders inwards or outwards depending on the strength that you want and what is actually shown in your video this might change but we're going to leave this how it is and then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the blur here and then we're going to add a gaussian blur onto that same clip so now you're going to see that it pretty much blurs out all the highlights so, which is what we want so i'm going to go over to i'm going to lower this down actually a little bit to about here just increase the amount and then in that same clip i'm gonna just increase the highlights under the exposure tab so you can bring this up or you can bring it down and you can even add keyframes here and kind of really get it to your desired look so i'm gonna bring this down for the midtones so i'm gonna duplicate the clip again and if i select the top clip and turn off the gaussian blur it should look something like this it makes it a little bit less blurry on the subject here but it keeps the highlights kind of blurry here's with nothing applied and then this is with our effects applied. So you can see it really changes the look and feel of this video instantly without really having to spend so much time on this. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and turning on the bell notification. And I will catch you on my next video. Peace.